Hello there. Over the weekend, the Electoral Commission released its final amount of data sets around this year's general election. So now we know that there's 567 candidates running across the motu, and most of them are going to be running under the banner of one of the 17 political parties that are vying for the party vote, although there are 56 independent candidates as well. And there's some interesting names in there. You get some really good names, like Brooke Stanley, for example, who's running in Mangere. Uh, she's part of the Auckland Action Against Poverty Network, or somebody like Ted Howard from Kaikoto, who helped set up the Marine Reserve there. You've got people like Jim O'Malley, who's running in Dunedin, who's a current city councillor who laid a code of conduct complaint against the mayor for leading racism slide. There's some fascinating names in there. But there's also a whole bunch of conspiracy theorists who feel that this is the time to get their voice out. And a lot of them we actually saw show up during last year's local body elections. You know, the ones where they wanted to make the country ungovernable. So let's do a really, really super quick rundown of some of them so you can get an idea as to what's going on. And there'll be a full list on my Substack email during the week where you can go, whoa, that's weird. On this list, you've got people like Phil Bridge, who's running a Monga Kai Kai, for example. He doesn't believe that mRNA was actually a vaccine. It's a type of gene therapy. Or John Smith here, who's running a Napier. It's not a pseudonym for the doctor. He doesn't believe in things like the United Nations and fluoride. You've got somebody like Don McDonald, who's running in Rongotai. He makes the weirdest complaints to the media council for various reasons. Or John Nayera, who's running in Rotorua, for example. Uh, he believes that... Graphene is in the vaccine and it's type of black. It's just really weird. In Taranaki King Country, you've got Bill Burr who hit headlines when he chopped off somebody's fingers who broke into his house. And before that, he made headlines for being the country's biggest Donald Trump supporter. You've got Pamela Taylor, who is a well-known conspiracy theorist in Dunedin. Uh, she actually got sectioned by her own family last year because her beliefs were putting her kids in danger. In Kitty Kitty Rao Hamilton, you've got somebody like Jack Geelan. Again perennial candidate who's always doing weird things like protesting outside the hospital against abortions. You've got former United First MP Larry Baldock running in Tauranga. He was really pro-smacking. Or Voices for Freedom member Mel Petrowski who's running in Tuki Tuki. Uh, she's there as well. You've got somebody like Patrick Phelps in West Coast Tasman who was a regular on Reality Check Radio. Oh, Fiona Green up in Whangarei, uh, she's a former children's book author who got endorsed by places like Horace Media for the Save Marsden Point thing going on. Uh, and you've got somebody like Jeff McTagg who's running in Wigram, who's anti-trans and jumps on all those kind of conspiracy theory bandwagons. But there's a whole bunch of candidates out there who are doing some really good stuff, who really should get your support. But please do the research on the candidates that are there in your electorate, because it's really important that you have your say and that your views are represented in Parliament. And while it might not be 100% of your views, at least try and find a candidate and a political party whose vision you share in some shape, way or form to move the country in the direction that you want it moved in.